Hey there, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny homes and creative homes. In today's video tour, we're gonna meet a solo female van dweller and take a tour of her amazing van conversion, which she calls Firefly. This is where I feel all cozy and at home in my little wonderful van here. Once you step inside of this van, you're not gonna feel like you're inside of a vehicle at all. Instead, you're gonna feel like you're inside of a mountain cabin. You'll see plenty of wooded accents and rustic features, but don't worry, she's also included every amenity you could ever need for full-time off-grid life on the road. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're most likely thinking about buying or building out a van conversion yourself. But what if I told you you could win your very own Mercedes Sprinter van with an $80,000 eco-friendly conversion and support a great cause at the same time? Well, Omaze, who sponsored this video, is giving away a van conversion by Vansmith with a fully converted interior and your choice of adventure-ready exterior upgrades. Best of all, this van will be sustainable with rooftop solar panels, all-natural building materials, a carbon offset package, and so many more incredible items that will make downsizing to van life a breeze. To potentially win this amazing Mercedes Sprinter van, visit omaze.com backslash tiny house giant journey and enter for your chance to win. Your donation supports a great cause. Omaze is teamed up with the Honold Foundation, who promotes solar energy and awards grants to projects that have the potential to shift the narrative on what's possible for energy access worldwide. Hi, my name is Anna and I live full time in my van Firefly and I'm excited to, oh mother where I live full time with my cat Inara and dog Sterling. Stay, stay. <laughs> it's my cat Sterling and dog And I'm excited to show you my van and full time home Firefly. grew up around a lot of people who really lived intentionally. My dad gave me the best advice ever of, you know, the whole point in life is to enjoy it, is to have fun. And that doesn't mean, you know, shirking responsibility, but to just enjoy life. So taking that in mind, I was able to do a lot of fun things in my 20s, like raft guiding, uh, dog sled guiding, traveling up to Alaska, traveling the world. Living out of a suitcase became really exhausting after a time, and I started just dreaming about living on the road and having a little place to call my own, a little place to call home. I had seen a bunch of vans that I loved and lived on the road enough to kind of have an idea of what I really, really wanted, so that's when I bought my Ford Transit Firefly here and took about six months to build it out into the wonderful little home that it is today. I bought the van for $20,000. I put about twenty dollars to $25,000 into the build, so it definitely added up. is a 2015 Ford Transit with the high roof and extended body. I went with the extended body because I need a lot of storage room. With this big old butt on this thing, I got a lot of extra storage for like my raft and oar frame and mountain bike and all sorts of good stuff in there. I have about three different costume bags, uh, the main one of which travels with me at all times because you never know when you might need a good pair of boots, for example, <laughs> good unicorn corn onesie, they always come in handy. So, you know, <laughs> always have to have your costumes with you. All right, come on inside and I will show you around. I built out the blueprint before doing this whole build and so I kind of had an idea of where I wanted everything. I wanted, you know, kitchen cabinets here, a nice dresser right by the bed. A fixed bed was really important to me. I know some people have the beds that uh, you can convert to a sofa, but for me it was more important to have the storage under the bed and still have it in a way that I could sit in bed and read or watch TV or work or whatever I want to do. 
So for power in the van, I have an 140 amp hour lithium battery that hooks to 320 watts of solar. I have my control center for my electric system right in here. Everything is really nicely labeled, which is super important, you know, so I can see which fuses go to which appliances. I have my inverter that I can turn on and off, and then, you know, the solar controller and battery monitor. One thing I really tried to think through was how to set the right ambiance in the van. So I have a few different lighting options. I have fairy lights, which that's just sort of my design aesthetic in a in one sentence is <laughs> fairy lights and mountain cabin. I feel like you put fairy lights places and it just makes it cozier. <laughs> and then um, I have lights in the back and lights in the front. They're controlled by two different switches. On the dimmer switches, I use the tops of whiskey bottles that came from Deer Hammer Distillery, my favorite whiskey company out of Buena Vista, Colorado. So, you know, again, just a nice little extra homey touch. All right, so this is my bed area. This is by far the place that I spend the most time in the van. I work from here, you know, watch TV in bed, I hang out here, sleep here. So it was really important for me to have a nice comfy bed. I have a full size bed in here, which is, you know, long enough for me. I'm pretty short, so didn't need that much. For my dresser, I needed a couple things. One was hanging storage, because I do have some professional shirts, you know, especially for Zoom calls. You gotta be nice, at least on top, and um, have those calls. So I have my nice shirts and dresses and things like that in the hanging storage. The other thing in this hanging closet that I really love is my jewelry storage. So I have a lot of, you know, necklaces and earrings, and they all became tangled into a big old jumble every time I traveled anywhere. So I got this hanging jewelry storage here that I'm able to, you know, just keep everything really nice and organized. And then for clothes storage, I actually have these bins here. I have four bins and in each bin, there are these um, little bags here. So, you know, one for pants, one for shirts. So that's how I keep my closet pretty organized. I have a good amount of clothes and I'm able to really know where everything is, have it quick to access, quick to put away, which I think is such a huge thing in van life. It's just like really having a place for everything and knowing exactly how to get to things quickly. I get asked a lot of how I keep things cool in my van. And basically I built in this skylight right here, which also acts as a nice way to, you know, stargaze at night because I don't have windows in this part of the van. So I just open this and then I get my max air fan going and it creates a really nice like ventilating breeze through the van. I really, you know, love to cook and love to be able to eat healthy while out on the road. So having a three burner stove and an oven was very important to me. When you're cooking for one, sometimes you can get a little lazy and just having something you can throw in the oven and kind of forget about has been just wonderful. I did put bumpers on the sides of my spice bottles here because I just like the feeling of glass spice bottles so they don't, you know, knock against each other too much with those little rubber bumpers. So I have a solenoid that turns on and off the propane so that it's not just on all the time or I don't have to go into the back every time I wanna start cooking, fumble around, find the propane to turn it on or off. Then I have a heater also hooked into my propane system. I got the Propex heater, which is a dry propane system, unlike a, like a Mr. Buddy that uses propane and causes condensation and makes you have to vent out your van. Um, this, you don't actually have to leave a window open or anything. So moving to my sink area. The reason I put this sink on this side of the van was so that I could take this nice faucet, switch it around, and have a little shower head for outside for, you know, when my dog's really dirty or I have like dirty mountain biking gear, really sweaty and just want like a quick rinse. Another important thing to me was to have a deep sink. A lot of RV sinks are really shallow and it drives me crazy because if you just wanna make like a quick meal on the side of the road, throw the dishes in and go, then there's nowhere to put 
with them. So I have a really nice deep sink. And then the cutting board on top is the same piece of really nice black walnut that I found for a screaming deal. Like I said, this is black walnut. It has an epoxy finish on there, which was not easy to do in a van build because you really want it to be clean. You have to be completely level. At first, I wanted to have live edge on the side like I had seen in some van builds. However, um, you know, if I got, got out of bed and had some loose clothing, like I didn't want to scrape up against Live Edge right here. So I still wanted the aesthetic of it. So I put it on the back instead. Kept some bark on and had that nice rustic look that I was going for. One thing that was incredibly important to me living in a van was to have a good fridge and I really wanted a freezer as well. So I have this fridge freezer. It's the Winter 65 quart fridge. Both sides of these can be set to whatever temperature you want. The big side could be the freezer, the small side could be the fridge. They could both be a freezer, both be a fridge. And it's a little bit less of a price point than the more expensive like Dometics. Most of the underbed storage I get into by opening the back doors of my van, but I also wanted some storage that I could reach from the inside. So under here, I have a projector screen and projector to watch movies. So welcome to my living room area. I wanted this to be in the part of the van where I could open up my sliding door and work or eat or whatever else I needed to do inside. I have these nice custom made cushions here for my bench. I have my desk, which is mounted on a lagoon table leg, which means I can take it off and store it or I can move it around however I want. Sometimes I like to work from here and sometimes from the swivel seat. I was also able to find another piece of live edge to kind of tie the pieces together here. Um, I found this actually at a thrift store for, you know, 25 bucks, which was awesome find, but adds, you know, just to that cabin ambiance I was going for. I also have this awesome painting here, which was done by my friend Ian. I led a group of 16 people down the Grand Canyon a couple years ago on a whitewater rafting trip. And so this just gives me those great memories every time I look at it. So in this front compartment of the van, I have a scratching post for Inara here. A nice little cactus, so it kind of still fit in the theme of things. The vinyl floor was really great. It was just one big sheet that we cut down to size, and it's really amazing because no water gets under it. Um, I also did kind of the stone pattern so that even when it gets a little dirty, which it does, I have two animals plus me, <laughs> um, then you can't really see the dirt on there. So I really, really love the floor. The other thing in this compartment here is going to be the composting toilet. I have the nature's head composting toilet. The back part is the composting part, and then there's a urine jug right up front. Uh, this is a great system because it doesn't really like smell at all. There's a vent that just vents it right out the floor. You know, I've traveled in a lot of different vehicles. My RV had a black tank. My old vehicle had a cassette toilet. This is head and shoulders above either one of those things, just as far as the smell, the maintenance. It's so easy. Um, I really, really love this thing. And it was important for me to have something on the road, um, you know, to just make things easy in, in that department. A lot of people are like, do you feel safe as a woman on the road? And I've actually felt my power grow um, and taking you know, control of my life and driving around in this van and going where I wanted to go. It has really helped my mental health. very good at just like walking up to people at campsites and being like hi I'm Anna like my social anxiety would be like going out of the roof in that situation. Van life gatherings have been awesome for me I've met some really beautiful people and I sit down with somebody who lives on the road all of a sudden we're like talking about our past traumas we're talking about what like we truly want in life we're talking about these beautiful experiences that we've had and we connect really quickly.
you know, you are capable. You can do the things that you want. You can make a dream happen. And it may not look like this. You can still start living an intentional life. Go from I wish to I can. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And visit omaze.com backslash tiny house giant journey for your chance to win your very own sprinter van conversion.